Hi, I'm Maria Killam, color expert and decorator, and I've had the privilege of training thousands of homeowners and professionals just like you to become true color experts. If you're here, a homeowner working on your own home or a professional looking to earn your client's trust with your expertise, discovering how to choose color for everything and anything in your home can make any project truly beautiful. I get it, I've been there myself, I've gone from working part-time at a Benjamin Moore store, doing color consultations, losing sleep at night, worried that I'd chosen the wrong color for my clients, to writing a blog that turned into a million dollar business. How? I invented a system for understanding undertones and neutrals. I then turned it into a successful business where I now sell a range of products, wrote two best-selling eBooks, I've been published, and I manage an e-design color consulting team where we specify paint colors for clients all around the globe and do an average of $50,000 a month in sales. It took me 20 years to perfect my system, but I will teach you how to transform your home into a timeless one you'll love forever in just two days. Just like Pamela Jackson, who went from crying and feeling completely overwhelmed with her new build to telling her contractors to call her the boss. My training also helps new and successful designers get to the next level. For example, Claudia Richardone. Here is her work featured in Lux Magazine. When she found me, she was struggling with neutrals and she was thinking there must be a better way. There must be a system out there. And she knew once she found my work that this was what was going to take her design business to the next level. So if you're contemplating making a color choice right now for your home or for a client's home, wait until you watch this training because you will make different choices after the end of this video. So take out a pen and paper so you can write all of this down so you can begin designing your dream house. Let's get into it. I've conducted over 20,000 color consultations and one of the things I noticed was all of my clients complained about the same thing over and over again, and that is, you guessed it, the previous homeowner's choices. So when I gained more experience, I realized these choices were trendy, and that is what eventually shaped my timeless aesthetic. So if you have these finishes in your home and don't know what to do with them, you will know more and you will have more options after this training. What makes what I do different from any other color training in the world is I teach you to how to understand color and how to understand undertones. And when you have this training, you will be fearless. Simply put, I teach what color is and how to use it. Through a series of exercises, I will teach you how to make the right color choices and also to be able to explain why your color choices are correct to your client, to your spouse for everything in your home, including tile, countertops, fabrics, like that. So you can finally achieve your goals of being published or creating a home that will be the envy of your friends. Let's get started with the number one rule for decorating with color. Mastering this decorating skill will enable you to take a neutral room from blah to colorful in just three simple steps or transform a flat neutral room into a beautiful one using the same principles. With just this one lesson, you'll feel like you can tackle your living room today. You'll have practical decorating and styling actions you can take. Ever noticed that any courses that you might do about color never seem to cover decorating? And yet decorating is when the entire room actually comes together. Most people have heard the standard 60, 30, 10 rule when decorating with color. Choosing a color palette is not about creating fancy split complementary triads from the color wheel, which by the way, no one does. And even I'm confused with that kind of advice. It's really much easier than that. So most people think that decorating with color looks something like this, which is kind of the ninja level of decorating with color. They see rooms that look like this and they think, well, I couldn't live with that kind of room anyway. But can we live with the all gray debilitating room, right? The all neutral room. That's the question. I'm gonna show you how to add color to that neutral room. So here's the thing, in all fairness, we go shopping for furniture and we end up in beige on beige, gray on gray neutral showrooms. And that's what's available when we go shopping for color and then we come home with that gray sofa, 
we add a gray rug next time we're shopping because we think, well, I need a rug and well, I better get a placeholder rug because I need one. So then you come home with that shag from a big box store. Then you decide you need drapes and you go out and you get some gray drapes to go with your gray sofa. And then a lot of times the objection that I'll get for why we have to have neutral furniture in any room is people will say things like, well, I want a neutral sofa so I can mix up the cushions, right? And they'll say, I didn't really know what accent color to choose, so I went with a neutral sofa. There's a much easier way of doing this, okay? So for an accent color to be successful, the rule of thumb is to introduce it in small, medium, and large elements. So when we're looking at this room, the small is the gourd lamp, the medium are the orange pillows, and the large is the rug. So basically you need to commit to that large element, otherwise the room starts looking bitty when the color just kind of jumps around. So how do we make this room better? I mean, here we have a designer room, We've got some nice pillows and we've got a, a pretty rug. But now the room still doesn't look like a designer's been here because we've just thrown in some fuchsia cushions on the sofa. So what you actually need to do again is you need to commit to the accent color. So we add some gourd lamps, we add some art. So then by adding that large element, of the fuchsia chair, now we have a room that looks like it's been pulled together well, and it looks like a designer's been there. So another way of introducing that larger element would be to choose a rug like this. So for example, this room, it kind of looks like we came home with some blue chairs from a big box store because we decided the room needed some color, but truly we've got the medium, we've got the large, we're kind of missing it in the drapes or the rug. So we could add that in the rug and then by adding white drapes, the room is a lot lighter and fresher. It's really rare that just taking more of that dark heavy neutral and installing it in the curtains is a good idea. So now the room looks a lot more pulled together. The real issue when you're decorating your own home is you have finishes, maybe some furniture that you're working with, and this makes it so much harder to add. We also get blind to our own house. So when you have a clear process to follow, that helps you quickly narrow down the best options because there are better options than the ones that you might think. When most people think about adding decor or buying finishes for their home, they think it has to be about what they like but I'm here to tell you there's a right way and a wrong way to choose finishes for your home. If you're a designer, you're often faced with the challenge of taking what a client already has in their home and making it look a lot better. This is a whole lot harder to do than simply starting with a blank canvas. You have great instincts, but you need to be able to convince your client that your solutions are right. The Kill em Color System will give you the whys, the tools, and the language that you'll need to gain their confidence. And speaking of confidence, when you have to choose every finish for a new build or renovation, it might seem fun at first until the painter needs your cabinet color and you haven't chosen your countertops yet. You quickly realize how tricky it is to coordinate all your finishes and begin to feel overwhelmed at all of your options. Every selection is a color decision. So you need to know which decisions to make first, what coordinates with that choice, and so on for the hundreds of choices you'll make. And you also need to know how to navigate the subtle undertones of neutrals. And that's why I invented the neutral color wheel. I saw way too many homes with poorly coordinated finishes. You know, the backsplash doesn't go with the countertop, doesn't go with the floor. So no matter what your budget is, all you need to know are the nine most useful neutrals to get it right. And what about whites? Of the hundreds of options, do you know which one is right for your cabinets, trim, or ceiling? Using my system, you'll be able to narrow down the perfect white for any situation by first identifying the gradation of white you need. And I've already narrowed it down to the four most useful ones.
You're here because you don't want to make expensive mistakes with color, whether it's for your home or for a client. And if you're a homeowner, you don't want to waste tens of thousands of dollars on choosing the wrong tiles or countertops or trim color. We've all seen so many bad combinations installed, or maybe you're even living with some right now. And if you're a designer, mistakes are not an option when you're spending your client's money. You need the confidence to know the right answer and be able to show your client why it's right. Here's how my two day workshop pays for itself. First, it's the cost of one mistake. That is easy math. For most of us, it has a dollar amount. You'll never forget what it cost to replace that countertop that was wrong or the flooring that you ended up hating. Believe me, I've been there. And there's also an emotional cost, delays, frustration, overthinking. I've been there too. Second, being able to decorate around a finish you inherited that you're not in love with. Often you'll get much more out of decorating and styling a room well than by fixing expensive color mistakes. And I will teach you how to do that. Styling is where the joy comes into a room. Did you get that? You'll learn the best way to freshen up your room when you can't replace everything. You'll learn to solve a variety of challenges with colors and finishes so you can move forward, whether you're working with a budget that's basic or luxe. So dream with me for a second. What happens when you can make color decisions that you won't regret or get sick of? Solve challenging color situations much more quickly. Create a more styled and beautiful home that looks pulled together Learn how to make the right decisions for new builds and renovations. And finally, put into words what is wrong with the room and know how to make it better. Imagine what you'll save by enrolling in this workshop. Not just dollar signs, but also the ability to stop overthinking every decision because you're going to follow a simple and organized process. The bottom line is you will save money and have peace of mind. And who doesn't want more of that? I'm so excited about the upcoming fall season. Finally, we can get together in person for the highly anticipated True Color Expert training events. It's truly gonna be amazing. I can't wait to see you in person. And if attending from the comfort of your own home is more convenient, we still have a virtual course for you as well. So don't wait too long, sessions fill up quickly. Make sure you sign up and secure your spot today. And here's what some of my graduates are saying. Taking Maria's course was by far one of the best investments that I made in my business. I really was still confused about color after I came out of school. After taking Maria's course and investing in her color boards, uh, it's one of my favorite things to do now. I thank Maria for everything that you've taught me about color. It's been great. So if you have the opportunity to attend one of Maria's classes, wherever she's near or far, do it, okay? And I'll be honest with you, since taking Maria's course, I've become so much quicker when it comes to selecting fabrics, finishes, and furniture for my clients, just because of my firm understanding of color. So good, and designers need this. At the end of the day, design schools need this. Yeah. How can we make that happen? Right? I know, because it's true. I'm so amazing. Thank you. Oh, thank you.